Hey everyone, welcome to the video of the week. Today's video of the week is five men and five women I think that we should give up on and why. So, um, we're going to start out with the women. Um, and it's not um, that they're bad wrestlers, more to say. I think it's just that because um, they don't really do much in the business. Or there's a significant reason behind it. And I will be telling you those reasons. Um, and this is, again, my opinion. So it's okay to feel like difference about whom I say. Um, number five is Tynara Conti from NXT. And the reason why that is is because we really haven't seen much of her we've seen her in a little bit of a feud with nikki cross and it didn't end very well for her um so who knows but i can i don't i just don't i just think at this point she needs to show a little bit more um of her to actually be not on this list so, um, that's why I put her so low on the list. Number four, um, is a woman that I think I might get mixed reviews for. Um, and it's Sasha Banks. And the reason why I say that, um, is not because of talent. I think it's because she, um, there was a video where she seemed to have intentionally injured Paige because of some reason on purpose and I think that should have had consequences um and when I mean by consequences is possibly fired because it looked as if she intentionally injured Paige to where Paige could not compete so number three is Dana Brooke now I'm not saying this because of talent again because Dana has the potential to be a good star in the WWE it's just that they're not allowing her to do that and I think that they need to allow her to do that if not she could be on a chopping block number two is Alicia Fox now I'm not being rude um when I say this, Alicia Fox has not really been a, any good storyline. I know she's out on injury currently, and that explains that. But even before she was an injury, it was a while since, since she was actually in a true good storyline with absolutely anything or anybody. So um, she could be possibly on the chopping block. And number one is another NXT woman, and that's Vanessa Bourne. I just don't think that she really has what it takes to be in the WWE. That's just my personal opinion, but anything's absolutely possible. So um, if she starts to show up more and starts to show more initiative, in my opinion, then that might change. But for now, Vanessa Bourne is number one. Um, now let's move on to our men. So, number five, I have Apollo Crews. Now, again, this is absolutely nothing to do with talent because Apollo has the potential to be a top star. I've seen it when he was in NXT. But since he has moved to the main roster, they've pretty much been making a mockery out of him, in my opinion. And he could be much, much more in their business, but they're not allowing him to do that. So I think that he might be on the chopping block because of that. Number four is Titus O'Neil. Now, Titus O'Neil has, again, kind of has that potential to be a star, but they're not allowing him to do that. So that is why I put him... On this list. Number three is our truth Now. Um, it's it's kind of sad. Because I am a fan of our truth But 
If you think about it, R Truth has not really been in a significant storyline in quite some time. Um, but I know he's again out on injury, so that might help be why. But even before he was an injury, there really wasn't a significant storyline he was in. Um, number two is Epico Cologne, or the Colognes, or the Shining Stars, or the Lost Matadors, whatever you want to call them. Um, and this goes with his partner as well, Primo. So that's why I'm saying like the Shining Stars, or the Colognes, or whatever. And the reason why that is, is because it seems like WWE has given them multiple options, um, tag team wise, to get it right. And it doesn't seem like they've found something that truly is their calling as a tag team. I mean, they've had the Lost Matadors, the Clones, Epico and Primo, just those two themselves. Um... They've had multiple tag team names and multiple tag team gimmicks and they still don't seem like they're getting anywhere in the tag team division. Now I know one of them is actually out on injury right now, but that doesn't mean that they ha didn't have that chance. So that's why I put them on here. And number one is probably no shocker if you think about it. Kurt Hawkins. Now again, the guy has talent. But WWE makes him out to be an absolute joke. He hasn't really been winning many of his matches, if not any. I think since he's returned to the WWE, he has won one of his matches. Every other match he has lost. And there's a very high significance losing streak going on with him. So that's why I think WWE could be putting him on the chopping block. Um, but again, that might be just his storyline, so who knows. But uh, that's going to end out this week. Um, this video of the week. Again, remember, next week on Monday, I'll be starting The Sims World. So again, I'm going to um, say if you guys have any ideas for character names, character personalities, or character styles, or... Any traits that you wish that I could work with in The Sims, um, just let me know in the comment section below. But next Sunday's video of the week will be Walking Dead Season 8, Episode Number 13 coverage. Have a great day. Peace, and thank you guys for watching.